Hello humans and otherwise, I am Adisi and welcome back to my blind let's play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We are presently back on the Great Plateau, right where the old man had his place in the uh, original game, Breath of the Wild. Well, kind of, since he was, you know, dead. But this has been turned into a Yiga clan hideout, and there's only one way to get through based on all the uh, barriers here. Like, might not even be able to get in here without this power. But because this is a Yiga Clan hideout, probably gonna be dangerous. Who's there? Wait, you! You're Link! Thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well, you're the one getting ambushed today. Uh-oh, big one. Where'd you go? Crap. Main target, big one! Ah. You're the most dangerous by far. Need some health, though. Don't need the heat resistance, don't need the glow. That'll do. One hit. Look at that. And that's why he's the more dangerous one. Okay. Well, if only I had the inventory space. S2, where are you? I'm working as fast as I can. Please, just give me a little more time. Wait, you're not one of them? Look at these people in their ridiculous outfits. You chased the Yuga Clan? You mean, I can get out of here? Ah. Hurrah! Those Yiga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for them. It was awful. Uh, I think your outfit is the weirdest one here. Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for flashy fashion? I only let CC brand threads touch this body. Hmm. I don't want this mess I made to fall into their hands, but I can't bring it with me. People have decided to do stuff right outside my door, as they always do. So there might be some noise the microphone picks up. Ah. Say, would you want to take this? Oh, a Yiga mask, yeah. Oh. That thing is decidedly not my style, but if it's yours, more power to you. I'm actually dressed like this so that I can confess my feelings to the woman who stole my heart. If she stole your heart, how are you alive? Shouldn't you be dead right now, because you have no heart? Her name is Nobo. She's beautiful, with a fashion sense that rivals my own. I think you have a terrible fashion sense. She's probably at a stable somewhere, I think, maybe. Oh. At any rate, we're meant to be, so I know that fate will guide me toward her. Take care now, hope you find someone to love too. What? <laughs> Arrows. In there, oh, there's a journal, but what is it? Nah, not worried about the Yiga Clan journal. Oh, we got some sun coming at least. Hey, a shrine. And a dragon! Is that shrine marked? It was not. It is now. Okay, and there was a. Uh, oh, I should swap this armor back on. A little bit of froggy armor here. Yeah, that's where that whirlpool was marked, but then. Is there anything over on the bridge? I don't see anything. But there's this marking over here to examine. It said, fighting those dragon eyes, I think they were called, is a priority for this game.
don't know, do I have to get them in a specific order? Or can I just find them as I go? Might be easier to find it if it wasn't raining. Raining a lot, for that matter. Well, there's a random rock here. Gorok? Yes! Yeah. 25 Korok seeds, no place to use them. Where is this eye thing? I want more of those memories from the past. Especially since now we know that Zelda herself is a sage of time. Well, there's a gap there. I'm not seeing anything. Either I'm just missing it, which is very, very possible, and likely, or I simply can't get it yet, which is also maybe possible. Uh, what is that? Some kind of fire up there. That is a Gliok. Hi. Fire Gliok. And that is a tower. Is that tower marked? No, it was not. Alright. I see an, there's an entrance into the gloom down there. Oh, that's a duck. There's some fish. Don't see anything else of note here. I really don't want to go back into the gloom quite yet. Instead, let's go back to Lookout Landing here. So, see if there's anything new going on. It progresses the story. Well, there's a gore on here. But one big thing I wanted to do was talk to this thing again. Oh, you do have a quest. Further location. 100 pose. Well, there goes all my pose. Way over there. Well, at least that's marked now. Open. Not that there's anything to do there. But Joshua, what do you have? Uh -huh. Remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Ta-da! Just look! Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural! The scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there. Like the one you found for me last time. Yeah, I, I can see that. They're all pointing at each other. That's what it looks like. What really caught my attention is where they're oriented. Each figure is pointed for the next one in the series. Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination. Now watch out for Master Hand! A building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, see those large ears in the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's a strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. It's a symbol of Master Hand. You just need some Smash Brothers characters to deal with them. Uh -huh. So, to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those structures down there, you'll reach that structure. Uh, those statues. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard of the Zonai with mysterious powers. 
Yes, that those same mysterious powers that Link now wields, since he's got a Zonai arm. What are this correlation with those powers? Of course, all this is still speculation on my part. Correlation is not causation. So, that's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. But they pulled that kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. Well, the depths is stupidly dangerous, so yeah, it's a good thing there, actually. So, here. Giant seeds! I keep not using those. Yeah. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Princess Zelda. Well, it works out. Maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with the swordsman. Mystery in the Depths. Okay, you're nothing. You're, you're not saying anything new here. The Pyro Pad has even more potential function. Big update here. Your pearl pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. Toshika Slate could do that in the previous game. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created the sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at a pearl pad research lab at Hateno Village. Yeah, I went there and did say to talk to you about it, but I never came back. That's right. It's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Purapad, which Pura and I developed. Once I'm in that lab, you'll join me there, and I can further improve your Purapad starting with a sensor. You'll find the lab at East Decludia, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule, on as far side as Hateno Village. A bit further than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting-edge lab! But for now, justice investigations are my main priority. You should know that I know where that is, Robbie. Like, why did everyone seem to forget what Link has done in the original game? So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Oh, so he can't go do that anyway. Well, do have a... wait. I has to! What are you doing here? <laughs> well, I'm spending a lot of time trying to find him, and he's, he's right here! But... One thing I'm looking for here is... Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Here. I know Hestu surely wasn't here before. Give me some stamina. It's like, how did people forget Link? Like, going there is something that they would have known that he did. He would know where the place is. He's been there in a previous game. People are acting like they don't know who Link is sometimes. What, you don't remember what he did in the last game? Seriously, where did you come from? I know you weren't here before. Shakala! Or rather, Shalaka! <laughs> you can see me, can't you? The name's Hestu! Like this! You, you know Link! I'm from Korok Forest up north. I'm a musician, and my happy, happiest happy place is playing my maracas and dancing. I left the forest to do some traveling, but things have gotten pretty wild lately. That's why I'm stopping at a safe place with lots of people around. I'm getting bored just standing here. Do you want to see my dance before you go? Hang on. Something's wrong with my maracas. The Korok season inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? Yeah, you lost them in the first game, and now... I mean, you lost your maracas. But now what about... how You, you still have them now, at least. But how did you lose them? The children of the forest would have taken them again. What, did you fall asleep and they stole them from your maracas? If I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and make your inventory bigger. Oh, 
Morocco seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas. The seeds spilled all over the place and I broke my maracas. Oh, you broke them? And I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was all in a panic. Well, that's why you don't panic like that. <laughs> Hang on. Do you have a Korok seed? You do. You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. <laughs> Shalaka. So which stash do you have more slots in? All of them. But let's start with weapons. Shoke, I just need one Korok seed. Deal? Yes, you better dance, and I hope you sing the jingle like you did in the last game, too. The expansion begin! Oh. <laughs> Got Korok help now! Uh, na, 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 na. There it is. <laughs> he does sing it. Spend a man! Band weapon stash. <laughs> Are you happy with it? If you me more Korok seeds, I'll expand your inventory again. Yes. I got 24 more seeds to use. And I fully intend to use them. Yes. Don't need to watch it every time, of course. It's the same animation. But we also need to increase bows. It's gonna be the same thing, but a different color each time. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, shield. The things I keep not using. I know how useful shields are. I use them all the time in Breath of the Wild. I beat Lionels using shields. That's my main method of defense there. But I just keep not using them here. I see the shields are my main method of defense against the Lionels, but they are also my main method of attack. So I just parry their hits and get on their backs and hack away. Oh, I parry them, stun them, and then climb on their backs and just start slashing like crazy. I think climbing on their back and slash, I think that was a way to get them. Because I know one thing I would usually do is when I was doing against the Hinox, just grab a big heavy weapon and start spinning. I'm just tired of going to get a, going to grab an item, my chest or whatever, and I can't because they don't have room. More weapons! More weapons! Up oh, all of them. <laughs> all right, so that is good now. Oh, now you sell this armor too? What? Do you just sell, like, everything I've already bought in the past or something? Anyway, arrows. I don't have any rupees, though. No. 
It still shows that, though. Yeah, so just follow the statues, right? Is just that my main goal in terms of going down there? Yeah, just follow the statues. Well, okay. I want to try something anyway here. Probably a dumb idea. But I want to properly try those stupid hands. I mean, I tried to use bombs before, but it didn't do me any good. Maybe I was using a weak bow or something. Blow them all up with a bunch of bombs. What? It worked! But Phantom Cannon? Where are you? Phantom Cannon! <laughs> Scourge of the Deku Tree. Okay, well, I... I'm surprised that worked. But at the same time, now we're dealing with Phantom Cannon! Probably should use a shield there, huh? Might help. Well, the problem is, they want to, like, they want to bring out a shield. That's a problem I keep having. I gotta use a shield, and Link doesn't actually bring out his shield. But Phantom Cannon? Now I'll just blow myself up here. Ah, so I can kill the hands if I use a lot of bombs, but then there's Phantom Ganon to deal with, and that's a problem.
I might get hit, I just go flying no matter what. Ah, of course, right in the back. Uh, oh, shield link. Problem is the gloom is here no matter what. I'm not sure I can actually beat this guy. Did not get it right. Play, uh, dude, I gotta parry him. I am just not handling it properly. But we did get that all the way over there. That's quite a distance, though. Let's keep our gloom armor on. And just head in this general direction. And of course, collect pose as we go. Go away! No! Crap bow. Now where were my lights? Use this weaker weapon. <laughs> Saw the rock, try to get away from that. Still ended up hitting a rock. Yeah, that's fine. My bow can be damaged. I don't mind. That's how it all works, you know. Things constantly break. That's how the game is designed. Tossing them like that again, too. I'm trying to go in that direction, but I keep having to go up and around here because I can't get through. Yeah. 
Right, and the weapon I had, I don't have any... I don't have anything to put there. That looks like, yeah, it's one of those things. Of course, I imagine it's going to be much more powerful, too. Is it going to be nothing but a giant wall? Or do I simply have to go there from a different direction? Like, can I not actually reach that statue from here? That might be it. It might not even be possible to get there from this direction. The underground could be arranged like that. Uh, reaching certain locations simply can't be done from certain other locations. It wouldn't surprise me at all. It makes sense. It would be that way. Get out! Bomb flowers! I want them. Yeah, it's really looking like I simply can't get there from here at all. There we go, let's wait for that boat to break. Pose, 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 pose. Okay, I was going to say, I hope that's not one you've already been to. Looking at the map, it doesn't look like it is. Is that a dark Hinox over there? Looks like it. And I wonder if all the Gloom Hands will spawn a Phantom Ganon after you beat them, or maybe just that particular set. Two trees. This one looks closer. Got any weapon slots left? 
Yes. <laughs> Good, just like trying to blind Phantom Ganon and other stuff. We got status effects we can try. Is it's like too hard right now. One of those trying to zoom on to the wind, but you wouldn't pull out his paraglider. Yeah, I feel like that is just the black around it, which is that a big I think that's supposed to be like a big solid wall or something. Stall horses. And if the black on the map is just you can't see it, I mean you can't get through there. Cause there's a cell at a wall. Which it may very well be, that's fine then. And yeah, we, we will have to find just a different way to get there. The spot with that bargaining statue. We have keys and not one of them actually did damage. No, stop doing that! Wonder how many people have that exact same problem. Thought I saw another uh Tree, but no, I don't know where it is. Maybe about a range of it. That's some nuts of pose. It's too close, and this automatically does that. I don't want it to. Might come back here and try to follow those statues. Now, which is that quest? Obviously not doing that right now. Yeah. What are those? Yeah, those are higher up. That was a tower, right? Couldn't do what I wanted to do in the depths. Gonna have to find the different entrance. Yeah, 
Was that a tower? Looks like it. And there is a tower in that direction. You can see the lights. Actually thinking about heading in the direction of Zora's Domain soon. But first, this is literally the cell right in front. May as well use it. I mean, it'll help reach the tower faster, that's for sure. Not right there. There's a shrine right there. There's the Borg hiding right there. And I'll get too close up there. We're just gonna just. End up starting to burn. So we're gonna need some high degree of fire protection. Is it broken again? Elden Canyon Skyview Tower. Is broken. It won't open. Uh, Let's see. Maybe if you use the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. Without a way inside, we're kind of stuck. Okay, so it's one of those again. It's like you gotta get inside in order to open the door. Well, We've actually dealt with that kind of situation in the past. Now, here's the question, is there a cave nearby? There's some enemies. The situation isn't exactly new. Stamina. Okay. Well, there's you again. <laughs> but, yeah. 
I do see how to do this. I mean, the top of it is missing, so yeah. Instead of going from down, we go from up. I was right! Using the terminal did open the door! Thank you, that was a big help! Ah. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. That's the other reason. <laughs> oh, look, I ended up in the cart. Check this place out, though. Yeah. <laughs> Need to collect what's crock sheets to do anything now. But we can swing around over there. But not at this moment. I'm gonna flip this around. And we're going to stop right here for now. And uh, we're going to actually explore these sky islands next time. Oh, there's a shrine right there. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord and a link in the description.